to see you receiving a birthday present, if that's how uh, optimistic you are now. Um, you mentioned that there is, um, in one of the points, that there is limited application for trans the AFP for transit projects in North America. But is it not correct that there have been dozens of transportation projects using an AFP or B3 model in North America? Uh, yes, my comment to the related to transit. And how about worldwide in terms of transit? Have there been AMP procured uh, transit projects in Europe or in South America or other parts of the world? Uh, AFP was the preferred delivery approach for transit projects in part of Europe, mm -hmm. such as Greece, Ireland, Spain. Stop now, and uh, that's why we have all the Spanish company coming to North America because they're not building it at this point. Thank you. Um, in terms of your, your worry about competition being uh, inhibited by the bid size being too large, I mean, we recently gone through um, on transportation projects in, in Ontario, the Windsor Essex Parkway, which I'm assuming that bid was much larger than 500 million, and uh, 407 East, I think, is probably in that range or larger. Was there a, a, a limited number of bids on those? Uh, I think they got about three projects, three uh, proposals for uh, the Windsor Essex. Yeah. Uh, again, it's transportation project, but different than um, transit. And you mentioned the kind of uh, you know the panel team, and I don't question their expertise. I'm sure they know their stuff. But I noticed they're um, certainly from jurisdictions that haven't done AFP, and as you mentioned, there haven't been a lot of AFP transit projects in the states. So of your panel. How much AFP experience and projects do you think they have? None. Okay. Great. Thank you.